Right, so you've got the microphone, so it should be alright. Yeah. We'll wait for it to get a bit further away, shall we? I don't know. <laughs> um, right, well, we're already recording, so... <laughs> Here we are with the with the uh, with the brand new uh, dual. What's it? Hang on, let me get this right. Dual drive. Dual, dual drive, drive backhoe loader. Dual drive backhoe loader, and this is the first ever one behind us, right? It's the first side shift projection okay. backhoe right, loader. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why have we got this brand new uh, um, uh, backhoe? Yeah. You know, it's seventy years of the backhoe, right? Seventy years of the backhoe loader. Yeah. 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 So the, the the new backhoe came as a result of. Of, of a significant investigation into the marketplace uh, and canvassing of operator opinion uh, on the product. And what we worked out is we needed to make the backhoe loader easier uh, to operate, easier for the younger operator that might not necessarily be familiar with it. Uh, and we, and we, we worked out that actually it's the front end capability of the backhoe loader uh, which is, is, is least understood. So we've introduced a whole host of features uh, to improve the, the ease of use of the, the, the front end. So for example, the return to grade um, and the, the laser leveling and the forward neutral reverse uh, on, the, on the joystick, all aimed at taking the skill uh, out of the, the loader, loader operation. But of course, it's a machine that's capable on both ends. So that's the loader end, the, the rear end of the machine. Uh, we worked out that the single biggest improvement we could do there on, on ease of use is to allow the operator to be able to reposition the machine while still facing uh, the rear of the machine. So effectively be able to drive the machine and operate the hydraulics while facing the rear of the machine. Uh, and that is a real revelation. It is, it's fantastic. And it's so so in the past, obviously with a backhoe you could always turn the you could turn the seat around Correct. to use to use the excavator attachment on the back, but you could drive it in that direction. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So now you've got full forward neutral reverse control um, and you can go up to um, second gear, which is, is obviously a safe speed yeah. to be operating. Okay, so here we have dual drive then. So this is a new feature on the backhoe loader on the 3CX, 4CX and 5CX models, which allows fast and easy reposition of the backhoe. So no more rotating the seat 180 degrees to the front right. to, to, to move your machine or pushing yourself back with the excavator. Right. Um, you've now got foot controls um, and fingertip controls to reposition the machine. So you've got a foot pedal here and you've got a foot brake on your left. Okay, so Under the joystick. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay. so that's got your it. that's your foot brake yeah. and that's your foot throttle. Okay. Under the joysticks, we've got our F and R switch, so that's your forward, neutral, and reverse. Uh -huh. And then on the left under underside of the left joystick, we've got our steering. So when I activate the controls now by pressing this switch here, uh -huh. so that's our uh, steering control and our throttle switch. What you'll see is the wheels, you feel that, can't you? Okay. The wheels are moving based on, oh, is that, can you see that, can you see that switch? Oh yeah. So if yeah. I turn that to the to the right, that's right. Yeah. If I turn it to the left, that's that's left. Got you. Um, so, dead easy. It takes about five minutes to, to get used to, yeah. like anything. It's very different to driving the machine forward with a steering wheel. Yeah. But once you're away, and you've had five to ten minutes on it, you get really confident with it. So um, I've got my handbrake here, uh -huh. and I just released that. I've got my controls activated, so I'm going to now press the direction I want to travel in, and we're going to start. We're going to start moving. So, I'll just do a few figure of eight, so you can you can see the manoeuvrability. Um, so dead easy. You can also move the excavator end at the same time. Yeah. Bring it back around. So it's an absolute transformation. If you think about it, an application where you may be pushing topsoil out, yeah. you would move the machine and you'd operate the, the, the excavator end uh, while you're doing that. Yeah, yeah. And you can get the material there with the front end to serve and distribute it out. Really makes it that sort of multi-purpose exactly. multi machine. It's gone off around there now, we'll have to catch it up in a bit. It's <laughs> but it's not designed to be driven like that down the road. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> no, ab absolutely not. No, no it's, a, it's an off-highway it's an off highway thing. Yeah. Uh, it makes the machine capable uh, in tight areas. It improves your, your maneuverability. Yeah. 
we do see customers maybe maybe using it for if you think if you're ditching down the side of the uh, the highway yeah. um, you, you would operate down the side of the, the the highway in in a ditching mode over the side of the machine or maybe if you're flail mowing again right. you'd operate in the reverse direction uh, and and you'd flail mode so you're looking at your, your cutting edge your working edge yeah yeah so we've had a number of inquiries for that already so there you go you can see him now He's operating his excavator end yeah. while he's driving, while he's driving and yeah. while he's steering. Wow. Um, and the machine's also equipped with the uh, the new uh, tilting bucket, tilting grading bucket, uh, fresh out of our, uh, of, of our attachments team. Absolutely. So this is into, this is like, so it was 70 years of the backhoe last year. Correct. So we're now into the, the eighth decade of the back backhoe. Exactly. We're starting with something quite, exactly. quite new and revolutionary. Uh, exactly. Really. What better way to celebrate yeah. than, uh, than, than a, a new 2024 model year uh, upgraded backhoe loader. Absolutely. And an, and an, an industry first on, yeah. on a side shift backhoe. Yeah. The machine is equipped with 109 horsepower uh, JCB Stage 5 uh, compliant uh, engine, high torque uh, engine, manufactured yeah. at our, our factory across at uh, Dove Valley. And that's coupled up to the six speed auto shift uh, transmission, which for 2024 has become standard across the whole uh, backhoe loader range to unlock the, uh, the roading capability. Uh, and we've got a, a high capacity um, variable displacement pump um, coupled up to uh, a high-end uh, excavator control uh, excavator control pattern yeah. um, servo uh, hydraulic system. Yeah. So here we've got with Easy Grade, which is a new feature on the JCB Baco Loader 3CX, 4CX, 5CX models. Um, so what you've got then um, within Easy Grade is a couple of new features. You've got Return to Grade, which sets your shovel in the optimum grading position. Uh -huh. We've seen that a bit of that inside but we'll show you that in a second so op you open the clam up you tip the shovel forward and return to grade basically sets your shovel to the optimum grading position and that's done through this sensor here so that's your bar and as soon as that bar gets to here the shovel locks in position for your return to grade then um, Alongside that, you've got your new laser mount pole. So that's this in the middle here. Right. And on your laser mount pole, what that allows you to do is attach a 2D uh, laser system. So the 2D laser system consists of your Leica laser. So this is a Rugby 680 laser. You've got a dual slope, so you can set your X and your Y. So you've got dual or single slope. So if you're on one slope, that would be your single slope which would be uh, X and then if you're on dual slope that would be your X and Y and you position it to the gradient you want to get that dual slope. This then tracks over to your receiver unit and the receiver unit will follow the plane that you've set on the laser um, and the lights indicate where you move the shovel so you've got lights up down and constant so your green is constant um, if, you, if your light's telling you to go down, you, you adjust your loader arms downwards, um, up, you go up and you're constant, you're on the right, you're on the right plane. Obviously you've got your 2.3 metre uh, 6 in 1 shovel as well, yeah. so really easy, um, uh, can, can level and grade large areas very quickly with your, with your wide shovel. So your return to grade is standard, yeah. but your laser mount pole, which will uh, get you which you can then add your aftermarket 2D design kit to yeah. is an optional feature. Yeah. It's around, it, it's not expensive, around 350, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, so for what you're getting out of that and what you can then, the, the, the level of accuracy you can get, it's, it's really good value. Yeah.